So as y'all can see, I have a sh diaper in my hand. We were eating breakfast and our son was actually in his little bouncer and I noticed he had a wet spot on his back and I was like, what is that wet spot? Turns out it was poop. He had pooped all over himself. So Lucky's taking him a bath right now because it took both of us to actually get his diaper off and be able to clean him off before getting him in the tub with all that poop on him. It was a disaster. The struggle was real. What happened, bad boy? What happened? Did you wash him already? I mean, I squeezed some soap on him. <laughs> but did you look at like you? No, I didn't scrub him. Tell them what just happened. You took his temper up and put it right on my sink. <laughs> I cleaned look, it. I see some right there. I clean it, baby. The wipe is. <laughs> That's disgusting. Tell them what happened. He took his and it came out of his pamper. <laughs> it's not funny, I was eating breakfast and this happened to me. <laughs> You're all done? All right guys, so I managed to bathe him and get him all clean. And now I have to choose an outfit for him. So yeah. Don't nobody want to vlog now. They didn't all got me started vlogging. Nah, everybody wanna back out on the vlog. Yes, I have. When? Whenever he poop. Oh. Anyway, we're You're on our such way to Walmart. A I'm a hater. You're a hater, bro. I'm a hater. You are. I'm not hating. You're a hater. Because if somebody doesn't do what you say at the moment that no, you No, because say, I you said you start tripping. No. Oh, you don't know about the vlog. I, I told you get the camera. Plus, they want to see more of you, so maybe you should start grabbing the camera and start vlogging before you start telling everybody else. All right, man. Here I am vlogging for y'all. I'm on my way to Walmart to buy some Pampers. Diapers. Diapers, Pampers, same thing. And what else we gotta get? Y'all, we gotta get some toothbrushes, some new toothbrushes. Y'all need to change y'all toothbrush out every three months, man. And I've been gone about six months and still ain't changed my toothbrush out. And yesterday I came to my bathroom and there was a mosquito chilling on my bristles of my toothbrush. So I had to throw my toothbrush away. So I'm like, babe, here, you gotta vlog. I ain't gonna be able to hold the camera in Walmart walking around with the camera in my face, man. I ain't gonna be able to do it, man. He's so uptight when we were in public. Because he swears that everybody knows who he is. That's not what it is at all. That's not what it is. So what is it? I just don't like walking around with a camera in my face talking to the damn camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Y'all ever watch South Park? The teacher goes, okay. <laughs> I made me like a traditional Salvadorian breakfast meal. I made me some platano frito with some over easy eggs, some uh, beans, and crema, and some tortillas, like flour tortillas. And it was delicious, but Lucky was like, let me have a little piece of that. And then I gave it to him, he said it tastes like potatoes. But now we're at Walmart, and he's like, them golden, pl they're golden plantains. Cheese. Some cheese. I was telling Kingston the other day that I felt like a black girl from the hood with my nose like this. And he's like, is that really how you feel? I was like, yeah. He's like, so do you feel like them? What you gonna do, girls? And I was like, that's exactly how I feel. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Damn, the price done gone up on this damn Similac or what? No kick, no kick, no kick, no kick. Why are you looking at me? You don't want to talk my vlog at Walmart. I'm like on 10 all the time. This is what he was talking about when he said she's always happy. And you hear the song playing? We was dancing to it on the cruise when we were on the cruise. Oh my God, for real though. So we were on a cruise like last year or two years ago. And there was like a little club in the cruise. And Lucky and I, we went in there and we really were dancing to this song. We had a great time, right babe? Yep. Turn around, do it. 
Oh my god. Y'all, uh, type in the comments and let Lucky know that he doesn't have to be so uptight all the time. That y'all want to see his happy, happy self. You're cutting it out? Oh my god. Alright, so we made it home. Um, I'm putting up the groceries that legit just changed into some sweats and comfy clothes. Um, yeah, like he's recording actually. Um, anyways, the struggle is real trying to vlog by myself. And the kids are at school. Like he's over there working. Um, I really don't have nothing to do. Other than put these groceries up, and once I'm done, it's like, what the hell do I do? And then Bad Boy's over there acting like a little bad child. He stays screaming, like, and then as soon as he sees me, he expects me to pick him up. And then I don't pick him up, and he'll start screaming all over again until I pick him up. So he's at that stage where he just cries to get what he wants. And then when he doesn't get what he wants, he, like, screams, like, ah! So let me go ahead and put all these groceries up and then I'm gonna think about what to talk about with y'all. All right, all right, do Well, I'm thinking since I'm done putting everything up um, and I just saw the platano, I'm gonna go ahead and just make the tostones. Y'all might know what they are once I show y'all the finishing product. So yeah, let's get started. And all you're gonna need is a platano, a plantain, for those that don't know Spanish. All you're gonna need is plantain. Make sure that it's not yellow. All right. So, I already tried to rip it like this. Okay, let me just. All right, so like I said, all you're gonna need is a platano, some salt, a pan, and some oil in there. You are gonna fry them until they get hard. So I already have half of one um, peeled and I'm about to go ahead and cut it. Y'all see, this is gonna be the chip. El chippy. El tostón, pues. Okay, so there you have it. We're actually frying them. Just kidding. All right, guys, the quick update. So, my the first half of my batch is already done. And they're good. The only thing I am going to tell y'all is go ahead and add the salt while they're frying that way the oil helps the salt stick to them oh my god i don't like that this one's on. oh shit and this is how they're supposed to look like that golden color and they're good tostones they're quick they're easy and they're delicious I had bought this meat this weekend and I didn't use it. I didn't cook it, so I'm gonna get it on. Good old marinated chicken. Gotta let that wait till they get nice and white. Hold up, flip these right here, flip this here, flip that there, got some good old corn with some butter up in there, seasoning, I think these fajitas is ready. Let them get crispy. They are crispy. You want to try one? They'll be ready when these tortillas are done. So today I hit myself like right here you guys it hurts whenever i touch it i was doing laundry and then i was putting the clothes out of the washer into the dryer and so when i went to go put it in the dryer just <laughs> hit me in the forehead and it shook my brain does that happen to you babe that was your karma for being rude to me i was not rude he swears i'm rude to him yeah that was your karma no that was just me being clumsy Anyway, my so, karma comes back instant to me, man, because I know better. It hurts. That's why I be trying to do the right thing, because when I do the wrong thing. Does that happen to y'all? Like, whenever you hit yourself, See, like, you just interrupted your, me. See does your you brain ever shake? Me? Like, do you feel it shake? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Because you're talking about karma. Because that's why that happened to you. Karma. What goes around comes around. Anyway, my karma is instantaneous. 
Because I know better. And when you know better, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you just a dumb idiot and don't know no better, God gonna let you make it a little bit because you just don't know no better. But when you know better and you smart and you got it all together up there and you've been watching my videos and soaking up that game, now you know better. So now you gotta watch out because now this is when the universe is gonna be holding you accountable for the things that your actions and the things that you be thinking in your head. You know when you see somebody with a bunch of wrinkles on their face and they look all fucked up You're and ugly? Wrong. It's because the thoughts that are going on in their head. Look at me, man. I'm 37 years old and I look like I'm 25. Okay, well, I'm gonna need you to bring your tone down a little bit because when you get to preaching, you're like, because <laughs> when you know better. When you know better, Hey, man, the universe holds you accountable for your actions, man. So, you know, my karma is instant, instantaneous. So whenever I sneak off and try to do some dumb shit, whack them quickly. That's why I be trying to be a good man at home with me familia. You know what I'm saying? You his little hand. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about he lays there. In the morning, he wakes up and he's like... What's happening? <laughs> Houston has been giving us a hard time. For some reason, he like learned that every time that he cries, he gets what he wants. Cause he didn't used to cry like that, and now he just screams his little head off. And then he like shuts up as soon as he gets what he wants. Talk to them, Houston. Hi. Wow, she finna start screaming cause he wants the camera now. What's up, Ni? What's up, Ni? Get by all way. Y'all wanna know a book to read? As a man thinketh. Look it up. If you got an iPhone, go to iBooks, search as a man thinketh. That's a good book. Watch y'all hear him scream. And if I take this remote control away from him right now, he gonna holler. Holler. Let me see, let me see, let me see. <laughs> oh, watch, she gonna stop. <laughs> All right, here, 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 here. here. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. All right, there's a thumbnail right here. Pose. I just realized Oprah's an Aquarius just like myself, so I felt inspired by her. And I just told Christian that I'm the next Oprah and that I want a TV show, a talk show. So I decided to tell him that I wanted to interview him. So here we go. This is an interview from Asia with Lucky. <laughs> Asia's fiance, baby daddy, future husband, oh best goodness. friend, all of the above, A, B, C, and D. Okay, get it straight. All right, let me not act ratchet. Oprah's not ratchet. Anyway, so I whipped up a couple per uh, questions just now to ask him. So here we go. Um, I'm, they're going to be juicy. So Will you soon. come on? No, shut up. This is my talk show. Do not yell at me like that on this camera. I am so sorry, honey. I love you. <laughs> I'll sue your ass. I, I love you, you and your damn talk show. I love show. you so very much. Okay, let's go because the battery's dying. Question number one. You ready? I'm ready. First of all, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine to this interview. All righty. January 29th, 2019, 5.13 p.m. just to be exact. Question number one. How do you handle hater comments or disses? I don't. I ignore them. I don't pay them no mind. And I don't really care about anyone else's thoughts. Except for people that I love. What's the best advice you give your children? Uh, to work for themselves, not for somebody. Question number... Why do you keep cutting me off? Question number three. How does it feel to have a brand new baby at 37 years old? Oh, it's... uh. <laughs> it feels great. I've already got all the partying out of my system and lived life for myself, so now I'm living life for my kids. Okay. Ain't question, that right, Houston? Question number four. What's after rap? Uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to stop rapping because people are always going to be calling one of them hot 16s. I mean, I'm not rushing to the studio to go make me a new album for myself, so I'm pretty much over rap, but people always call him one of my verses. As long as people keep buying the verses, it ain't never gonna be 
And where can they reach you to get that hot 16? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm being dead serious. Yeah. Question number five. Last but not least, here we are. Here y'all have it. I hope y'all enjoyed this interview. When did you realize that I was the one? <laughs> this morning. <laughs> You're an ass. Uh, she uh, ate me this morning. She made me some some breakfast with some plantinos. Plantinos. All right, man. We're gonna holler at y'all. What's up, man? We back. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that other good stuff. Those tacos were delicious. Have a good day.